Heidi Borchers has been eco-crafting long before it became a buzzword in the craft world. One of her favorite supplies for many, many years has been brown bag. Now, my notes say newspaper. I think if I read properly that I made a mistake. I was thinking newspaper, but she makes her pins out of brown bag. I don't know. We're going to find out here in just a moment. And what she creates from brown bag is anything but plain. Today, Heidi is here to show you how to transform the brown bag into the coolest pins. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. And by the way, congratulations on your future at Babecraft. Thanks, Tiff. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Tiff, when we talked the other day, I was talking about newspaper pins, and then remember we kind of changed it up, so it went to brown bag. But you actually could use either brown bag or paper. You, anything, any kind of paper that you could glue together, you can use it. But I found on this project, that it works better with brown bag if you have a really smooth surface of the brown bag. It works really great. So I will put my demo camera down, and Tiff, you can put the picture up. And we'll get started. Okay, when you, when you cut your brown bag, and it has like seams here, that's where I'm saying that you don't want to use that part. Use the, the smooth side. So I've already have my pattern on here. I'm going to do a leaf today. And I'm going to open it up. And we are going to just put some glue in the center here. And I'm using today, I'm using the Aline's, whoa, <laughs> Aline's Tacky Glue, the original one. You can use, I think that almost any of her, um, the Aline's glues, the, the fast dry or any of those will work really good. You just need that extra stability that the, um, that the glue gives you. And if it's flexible, that really helps too. So I'm using a um, an old card, um, like a credit card, to kind of smooth it out. You want it as smooth as you can get it. And I'm going to put it on like that. And then I use a brayer and just kind of go over it real smoothly. So now I would cut it out. And just with scissors, I'm not going to do it all the way, but I would just... Remember when you do scissors to put your piece into the scissors, not not go around like this, put your piece into the scissors. Oops. Like so. Now when it's wet, you're going to use a um, stylus and you're going to put that center line in. And let me show you here. That gives you a nice fold and you're going to actually kind of fold it up when it's wet because once it dries you cannot get it to do that. Okay, let me move this piece of paper. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your tacky glue and you're going to put a, um, a tape nozzle on it and I'll show you why. On the, let me get my piece, on any of my pieces here you can see where they have a little bit of dimension. See like on the Dragonfly, there's dimension over the um, the body and around the edges. To get that dimension, I use the technique of the like the embossing with glue. So you need a finer tip on the glue bottle. So if you take a piece of tape and you just put it on and just kind of wrap it around, Oops. tape, wrap it around like that, it gives you a very fine tip that you can squeeze the glue out. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to see how I can do this where you can see it and that I can see it too. And you're just going to, that one's a little bit tight so I'm just going to, a little bit too fine. We're going to clip that off a little bit. And you're just going to kind of go down with that thin line. Now you can also go around. You can put you can put veins on it, but that's what's going to give you the dimension. I'm doing this backwards too, backwards upside down. That's what's going to give you the dimension on your pin. Once you do that, you're going to let it dry until it's clear. And that's what I have here. You can see the glue around the edges and down the center. Well, that one didn't get down the center. And it's, see that clear? That's the, the embossing with glue. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint it. And I'm just using an acrylic paint. 
and I'm using just kind of a rust color because I'm going to be using um, gold leaf and when you use gold leaf red or rust looks really good underneath it that's what kind of makes it just pop so this is just a rust color you just paint it like so and then you're going to next thing you're going to do is you're going to put on when you buy gold leaf oh i just dropped my gold leaf when you buy gold leaf and you can buy it in most of your um hobby stores craft stores i mean it comes like this now i happen to find and i think it was in michael's a gold leaf that has patterns on it you know that's cool pattern so i'm going to use that well when you buy gold leaf you have there's they have an adhesive and it usually comes in a little tiny bottle this one is a larger bottle that i've had for a long time so what i'm going to do on that um on the leaf that I painted, which is dry, I'm going to just put some adhesive. And this is the gold leaf adhesive. It's not the tacky glue. And like this. And then you let that dry until it's clear. When that's dry, we have one here that I, I put the adhesive on. You can see it's kind of shiny. I put it on just before we went on, so it's dry. It dries pretty quickly. Then you go in here, very carefully take some of the gold leaf and put it into the adhesive part. My finger has a little bit of glue on it. And a little bit more here. Put it over the whole thing, a little piece over here. And a little piece down here. Now the best thing to do is to use either like a, a soft Q-tip or you're going to use like a, a dry brush and you just go over it and you kind of burnish it until it's completely completely on and you can kind of if you work on it a little bit it takes the edges off of all the flakes. You have just taken brown bag and you have made it look like it's metal. How cool is that? Now I'm thinking, wouldn't that be cool to use the eco epoxy on top of this and make it where it's really shiny? And I'm going to show you the um, the sun up close to it has like a little bit of embossing here. But that is how easy it is. So I saw some questions flying by as I was um, demoing. So um, let's start questions again because I just saw them fly by. Any questions? If they went by, I didn't see them. The circle part of the sun, actually the sun is in two pieces. It's got the background, the back, and then there's just a circle. And when I... When your when your um, brown bag is wet, you can if I cut a circle, I could actually kind of put it into my into my hand there, and I can shape it. It is amazing how much brown bag is so durable, even when it's got the wet glue in it. So you can do a lot with when the brown bag has the glue in it. You can do a lot, but like I said, when it's dry, it's hard, and there's nothing you can do with it. Oh, somebody thought it was going to be burnt brown bag technique. You know, I need to show that, the burnt brown bag technique, because we, we used to do that a lot on Lane's Creative Living. Why do you need paint if you're just covering with gold? There's something about the gold leaf that you need to put a paint underneath it. And it really, over the years, as long as I've been working with, with gold leaf, if you put a red or a or the rust, it, there's something about it that it just pops out. If I just left it gold leaf, you wouldn't have this pretty, pretty color. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, the having that color underneath it just makes the gold leaf pop. Okay, how did you get the orange effect on the pieces? Um, actually, the gold leaf that I'm using is a pattern gold leaf. Can you see, can everybody see that pattern on there? It has kind of a, it has kind of a pattern that has the orange. Okay, 
Yeah, the torching stuff. And actually, the pattern, it comes in like about six different patterns if you look. Uh, Christmas ornaments would be fabulous. Right, that's a great um, ten, uh, hint, Tiffany. If, if you miss putting on the, um, any of the adhesive and you have a little spot, then that means that color paint comes through too, which you get a, a completely different effect with that too, and it's really great. <laughs> well, Karen, you're gonna ha I guess you're going to have to wait. Maybe a couple weeks I'll do the burnt brown bag and uh, show you what that is. I'll, I'll put that on my list for the, I needed something, I needed something to do for the, uh, for a couple weeks from now. We'll do burnt brown bag. And um, I think that's probably all that I have today. If there's any more questions, I'll answer them in the, um, the chat room or I'll be back, and I'll be back later to, uh, to answer anything and kind of do a wrap up. Thanks everyone. Tiff, back to you.